Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne, it's great to be back, I'm so happy to be back, feeling a lot better than I was for the last couple of weeks, that's for sure. Today we're going to be doing the next pack, which is pack 5 of the Agora Models release and build the Mercedes W19R, the Sterling Moss Mercedes. Now, as you can see, everything is laid out, ready to go here. We are going to be doing a lot of work on the engine today, including a lot of pipe work, so a bit of detail there. But if you remember how we ended the last uh, packs, that's packs one to four, uh, we were creating these rims. We had the hard version and the easy version. Well, we're going to start this stage by actually putting the tyres on to these. Now, the good thing is they provide tyres for both the hard and the easy versions, so you will have two sets of tyres on this build, which is good, and I'm going to show you how to do both of them now. Uh, so, obviously, I've got pack five here. I believe that is 14 stages, so uh, by the end of this stage, it should look pretty cool, but if you do want to get this for yourself, I have put the link down here to the Agora Models website, and you'll be able to see this whole build on that site. But, itching to get back into it this week. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so I have already got some water here, which is going to be laid out with the wheel. As a matter of fact, I'll just let that soak in there for about two minutes to soften that up. And then I'm going to be putting down a nice clean tea towel that I've got here because I don't want to wet my surface here. I do have some other bits in here which I'm going to need in a second. I'm just going to get them out without losing them. Now when it comes to putting these in, we're going to be pushing it in from the rim here. We don't want to be pushing down on these spokes. So let's get this tire out. It should be suitably warm and push this into place. As you can see, it goes in quite easy because the tire is now nice and soft. Make sure it's in this side. It's looking good. Perfect. Check the other side and again get this around the rim and it's as easy as that to put the tire on. So dry this up, turn it over and on this side here you can see that I've actually got uh, this cover to go on. It has got a locating lug in between so it's got to line that up and push that in so that fits nice and flush in there like that. Turn it over and on the other side here I have got a little washer to go in. That's just going to go into the top there. And then I'm going to close that so I don't actually lose that washer because we're not ready to attach this to the car now, just with the hub. So that looks just like that. And that is the end of that stage 14A. And then on 14B, we're going to be doing exactly the same, but this time with the Easy Make tyre. And just to remind you, that looks just like this. So once again, get the tire out here and then push this into place. All the way around. That one's gone on lovely and easy actually. Just pull that back. Look how easy that one went on. <laughs> Clear off any excess water on there. So now that's looking like that. Now once again, if you look inside there, we do have a hole where this section is just going to go on. So I'm just going to line this up and push this into place. So that fits on like that. And then exactly the same way, we want to store the washer just into the top there and the hub just to keep that safe. But that's both tyres now around those rims and that's all there is to do in that stage. Okay, it's all about the pipes now. This is where some of the detail is going to be coming in and we're going to be attaching these to the engine. So let's get all of these out. Okay, to start this stage, we're going to bring the engine over and we're going to be taking out the whole fuel pump here, this whole section. So uh, there is some black screws just down the side, which I'm just going to take out. One there and one down the bottom. And that will enable me to take that out. Now in the holes that we can just see in here, I'm going to be putting this uh, manifold pipe. I think that's what it looks like. And it's going to go in this way. Make sure they're all in the holes there. So it looks like that. Excellent. And then we're going to reattach the fuel pump again into its original position. And there you go. That's in position just like that. 
We're then gonna be taking the spark plug wires. Now these are already in a sheaf. We've got some which are short on the end and some which are long. It's the short ones I want first and they're gonna go onto the outside of the starters here on all of these little pegs here. I think I'm gonna glue these in to make sure that these don't fall out. So it'll just be a case of making sure each pin on here is coated in some glue. There's eight pins and then we'll get these short ones in place. This is where tweezers are definitely going to be your friend. And this is where the level of detail comes into its own. As you can see, they're all on like that and do exactly the same with the ones on top with the longer ones here. And now we want to put these on each side of these pipes that we have that are just going underneath here. So if I get these in place, you have the longer one just going on this left side here. And then this other one, just going, the shorter one, going on this side here. So that's now looking like that. Okay, I can put that to one side. I'm gonna be needing these smaller pipes here and this little sort of tidy that these are gonna go down and thread these through these holes. So one, two, three and four. Now on the fuel pump here, these are gonna go onto each second nipple that we've got there. So I will again, don't wanna muck around with pipes, put glue on these so we can ensure that they're gonna stay in place. If you are having trouble putting them in, just put them in a bit of that hot water you used for the tire. That should uh, open them out lovely. And when they're in, they should look just like that. So we're gonna take these pipes. The first one is gonna go into the second injector along on this side here. Hard to get in because you've got your uh, fuel pump in the way, I'm aware of that. But I think what I'm gonna do is put these all on the injectors and hopefully try and show you what they look like. I'm just looking at this and I'm wondering if this is actually gonna be easier to take this out the fuel pump and then put these leads in and then put the fuel pump back in. I'm gonna try it that way and see if that works better. I do actually think this is gonna work better this way, so. And hopefully you can see that's a lot easier to do if you take the fuel pump out and then I'm gonna put that back in and then it'll be in place. Definitely take your time on that, but that's what that looks like and it was much easier taking this fuel pump out, putting it in and then reattaching it afterwards. So they look like that. You can see the level of detail now. Now in the tops of these, which we haven't put pipes, we've got the longer ones, we're gonna attach them now. So again, I am gonna use some glue for this and get these in the tops. And then we're just gonna be putting them into the plugs on the other side. So the one that's closest is going into the one furthest away on this side. Again, I am gonna put some glue just on top of these. Bring them over the top of these spark plug cables here. That's the first one in. And the one that's furthest away is going on the one that's the closest inside here. I think they have had a look at the firing order of this, that's for sure. Then the one that's second in from this side is going on to the one next to that one. And finally, the one that's left is going into the plug that's left. So then that should look just like that. That's fiddly, that is. Wow, but that's all those pipes in. Now, while I've got this round this way, you can see this section here. On the close-up camera, we've got two holes just here and here for a little detail to go in. Again, I do put a little bit of glue, even though these should hold themselves in here because these are tiny. I don't want to lose these details. So I'll push this one in here. So that's in there like that. And then I've got these two black leads here, a shorter one and a longer one. Now there is two nipples behind the pipes that I put in here. Again, I'm gonna put some glue into place. I want the longer pipe just to go on the one on this side. And then the shorter pipe just to go next to it. 
and each one of these ends go into the detail that we just put in onto the side here. So again, I'm going to put some glue just around the edges here and get them in. So that should look just like that. Now on the other side here, just in front of this starter here, there's another little two holes here. We've got another tiny detail like what we just put in. That's going to go in there. And there you go, that's in there. I'll tell you what, that would have been a lot easier to put in. Hopefully you can see that there. <laughs> right at the start of this, before we did all of these uh, starter motors and stuff like that. But there we go, it's into place there. But that was a long stage, but that's all there is to do in that stage. Once again, in stage 16, some tiny details, very tiny, if you see those. And we're going to be connecting the fuel pump line and the expansion tank. So let's get all of these out. So the first thing we're going to do is take the oil hoses connector, which looks like that. It's got a hole in this side. Get a bit of glue. It's just going to go onto the nipple that we've got here. And I'm just going to push this into place. Definitely another thing that could have been done earlier on, I think. Perfect. That's on like that. And then on this connector here, we're going to be putting two of these pipes on. Now these are the almost shortest one. <laughs> so let's get that one on first. That just goes on top. Perfect. I haven't glued these because these are going on quite well. And then the shorter one is going on to the back. And again, that's gone on well as well. So that looks like that there. The bigger end here is going on to the bigger pipe. So now we've got three pipes coming out of just this one unit here. Probably will put some uh, glue on this now because I need one pipe going on to the end of this one here. And that's this longer pipe. And the second pipe just into the nipple down the bottom there. Now, in the top of the injectors, we've got another little hole that we're going to be putting this gold connector in. And again, I think I'm going to put some glue in that. And then on the end of this, I've got the last black pipe, 16C here, which is just going to go onto the end of that. Again, okay, might have been easier doing that before I put that on. <laughs> All that's left to do now is this pipe that's coming out the side here. I've got a sheaf to put over the top of that. It does hold itself in quite well. I'm just trying to push it all the way down. Perfect. So then that's on like that. And then you might notice just a tiny hole just below that. Which I'm just putting some glue in because we've got a really tiny detail going into that hole. Which looks like that. Get it lined up and in. Perfect. So then that fits in like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 17 here, I'm going to be attaching the engine covers. That means I get to bring out all of the screws. And then holding the engine this way around, the first cover is going to go on just here. So it looks like this. And as you can see, we have got some uh, slots for this to go in. It's going to go in just like that there. That's held in with DM screws just into this point here. Very conscious, I don't want to lie all that down because uh, I don't want to trap all these wires that I've just painstakingly put into place. Now these are the black DM screws that I'm putting in here because there is silver ones in that pot as well. So I'll get this in. Now to hide this whole thing here, we've got this plate that's going to go over the top. It's going to be a little bit tight to get that in there, but it will go, as you can see. And that's going to be held in with JM screws. And then on top of this section here, I've got this metal cover. And this is just going to push in with the lugs that we've got there first. To line that up. Just like that. And then it's held in with AP screws. 
So one just down the bottom here, and then one on this side here. So turning this round, on this side here, you see we've got two little nipples just on the end here. I'm gonna get some glue on them because I've got a couple of pipes to put on them and they come in this pack. So I'm just gonna get these on. They're pretty much the uh, same size, these pipes. Now the one that's coming out of this side is gonna go into the nipple that we can just see there. Tell I'm back, can't you? <laughs> I don't think I've said nipple as many times as I have in one video as I have in a whole week. So that goes onto this one here. And then the other one, there's one coming out the side here. That's just going to go on that side. Just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 18, just gonna get this one open. We're gonna be adding detail to the firewall and connecting fuel lines. Again, more pipes, lots of pipes in this build. Okay, we're not finished with the engine yet because we've got this small oil hose connector. We're gonna put this on the engine, I'll just show you where this goes. This is going into the hole that we've just got here. It's a very tiny hole. And there you go, when that's on, it should look like that, just there. We wanna take the smallest pipe now, and that's gonna be going onto the end of this connector. And again, make sure that's pushed all the way on. That fits on quite tight like that. And then the other end of this small pipe, the connector we just put on, this is gonna go onto the bottom nipple of that connector. Again, I'm putting some glue on that and I'll get this on. There we go, and that's in position just there. We wanna then take the medium pipe that looks like this, this is 18C. This pipe is just gonna go onto the middle, the nipple, the nibble, I can't even say the word now, into the nipple, just into the center there. And I'll get that slotted on. Eighteen D, which is the really long one here. That's gonna be going onto the nipple that we've got onto this starter here, just on this side. There's one just on its own behind here. Hopefully you can see this. I'm aware there's pipes coming out everywhere. But there we go, that's that long one in place. 18G, which looks like this. That's gonna go into this top nipple here of that detail we put in right at the start of this stage. And then 18N, the last pipe we've got here is coming out of the gold, uh, adapter nipple that we've got coming out the side of the injectors there. So I'll get this in. I really do hope it tells me where these are connecting to shortly. <laughs> I can put that whole hickledy pickledy wire mess to one side because I'm just going to be creating uh, this section now, which is the fuel filter. I've got some details to put on top of this. So on one side here, I'm gonna be putting this hooked section here and on the other side, another gold detail. Is going in here. They do hold quite firmly. I'm not gluing those in. So we need the firewall now. And this is the firewall here. Looking uh, pretty good. This is just gonna go into the hole at the bottom with uh, this line here going into the hole at the top. So it's gonna sort of sit in like that. Looking good. It's gonna be held in from the other side with a CP screw. This is the flange screw here. Again, I've got a uh, plate to put on here with all the details which says Daimler Benz. 
it's going to go onto the four holes that we got just down the bottom. Again, look, check out that detail. That's brilliant. That's going to be held in with DP screws. Tiny screws these are, so I'm going to use my smaller screwdriver for this. Excellent. Look at that. I love that. Okay, I'm going to be putting this end into the pipe here. That's the next thing I'm doing. Again, that holds itself pretty well into there. But anytime something goes into an end, I get nervous. The other side of that end is going to go onto this nipple just here. So again, I'll put some glue on there. Big lead. It's just going to go over the top like this into there. And then you know me, I've got one more thing to put in, which I forgot to put in, <laughs> which is 18H. And that's just going onto the bottom of this engine here. It's a hole there. Getting some glue in there. 18H looks like this. Let's push that into the hole. So there we go. We've got another connector just there. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now for now, we're leaving the engine and the firewall because we're going to start working on the frame. And just when I dropped that, you heard all the metal there. So uh, this is going to be interesting. I love building frame. Okay. So the best way to show you this is to take this part of the frame first and the top section of this massive metal section here is going to go into the hole just at the top there. That's held in with a JM screw. Now the JM screw is coming in from the other side here. So I'm going to offer this up like this. That way I can ensure that I'm putting the screw in straight. Now the bottom section of this frame is going to go into this point here and then the top section is going to screw over the top like that with GM screw or one GM screw. So I'll get that one in there. And there we go. That's the bottom one on. Just going to tighten the top one up again. Perfect. And that's what the frame should look like when it's on there. And that's all there is to do in this stage. In stage 20, I've got the rear axle support looking like this. All metal again. Flat section here is going to be fitting on top of the flat section just there. So when this is in, get it in just like this. It's going to look just like that. So first off, I need a JM screw. And that's going to be next to the locating lug that we've got in there. You see there is a little locating lug in there. Put this in a bit of oil and get that screw in. Definitely want oil for this because you do want these tight and you do want them going in all the way. So that's the first JM screw in there. Now on this side just here, we're going to have another JM screw, but that's going into the hole nearest to this point just here. So get that screwed in nice and tight. And in the hole next to it, we're actually changing it up a bit. We're going to be putting a DM screw, which I've got here. And that's just going to go into that hole there. And with that in place, that's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 21, we're going to still be fitting the rear chassis section. Get this open. And the first thing I'm going to put on is this suspension lock, which looks like this. All these parts are metal. This is just going to go onto this piece, just on top like that, held in with a DM screw. Make sure that's on nice and tight. Excellent. I then have this bracket to put on here, which is just going to go over this section here. So it fits flush in there like that. That's going to be held in with a CM screw just through the hole at the back there. So I've got one of them here. Let's just put that in. Excellent. We can put that to one side because I'm going to be making a reservoir up now. And that looks just like this. We've got a couple of detail holes just on top here. So the first one I need is this pipe to go in. That's just going to go into this hole at the back and it's going to sit in kind of like that there. It's held in with an EP screw. So that's the pipe in. Got a couple of little tiny details to put in there. One is going into the hole just at the side here. 
and another one is going into the hole just at the top again these are quite hard to put in so i'm not going to glue them in but that looks like that we can put the cap on now that just clips onto the top here like that and then we're going to be attaching this to what we've just created there and it sits into the position on these two holes so we do have mounting points just on the back here this is going to fit in like that now they're held in with ap screws and when that's in that looks like that i like that and then this is going to be going onto the frame that we've already created so the section here is just going to go on top of this section just like this and i'm holding that in there with a jm screw and we have got two little locating tabs to make sure that they go into the holes just at the bottom there so then this frame is completely lodged in as you can see there but that's all there is to do in that stage in stage 22 very similar but we're going to be doing the right hand side now so once again we're going to put a suspension limiter in place that's just going to go on the top like that held in with a dm screw got that here and get that nice and tight just like last time i've got this bracket to put on here which fits in like that held in once again with a cm screw i've then got this fuel pump to put in massive section this one it's going to go into the two points we can see just there so i'm going to mount this in with one screw this time because it has got a locating lug and that's just an ap screw on the top and the bottom so it wasn't one screw was it it was two <laughs> so that's the first screw there and that one there is the second I've then got this bracket here to put in place underneath this section here. So these are going to go on just like that there. That's held in with a HM screw. Once again, make sure that's nice and tight, but that should now look like that. And then just like what we done last time, this is going to go in exactly the same way. So I make sure that this bottom section here is in that hole just there. And I make sure this top section is secured to the bracket on this side once again with a HM screw just through this point here. So let's make sure that's all lined up and then that can go into place. And again, screw that as tight as you can get it. And then that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 23 here, lots more parts of the frame and the first thing i'm going to create is the brake fluid reservoir so i've got two parts here which are just going to go together held in with an ap screw at the cap there you go that's that in this is going to go into the points here and here so basically they're going to go from this side so it's going to sit in I'm trying to show you how this fits oh other way around just like that and that's held in again with AP screws. That's one. And that one there's two. So just like last time, I'm going to line this up so that this section here is going to go over the top, just like that one there, over the top of this section just here. And that's held in with a JM screw. Just enough to hold it for now. Because I'm going to line up this bottom section now, turn it over, and once again, a couple of JM screws in here. So I've got one in that point there. And this time, they're saying I can use JM screws in both of these holes at the back here. Once again, I can put the top in on this side with a JM screw here again get that in as tight as I can get it and then I've got this bottom piece here that if you remember is going to be going in just like this with a GM screw now I've only put that screw in really loose because I've got one more bit to put in which looks like this 
and that's going into the front here held in with a DM screw just from here and then it's just a case of tightening absolutely every screw we've put in up as hard as you can and that is most of the frame completed now that's the end of that stage a couple more bits of frame just to finish this off in stage 24 Let's get these out the first thing I do is put on this steering support on this frame which just goes into the hole at the bottom there and it is held in with an EP screw so that's in just like that there I've got this little support here which is going to go at the front of this section just into the hole at the bottom so that's going to fit in just like that that again is held in with an EP screw so I've turned it over and I think that's the easiest way to get that in just like that they're going to be putting in these front torsion bar supports there is a little keyhole pattern they just go at the front here and they're going to push into these sections here which have got a uh, keyhole pattern on them now they are quite tight to put in but they just push in like that so i've got the two bigger ones at the bottom the two smaller ones at the top and then i want to take this front section here and i'm going to be putting this over the top making sure all of the parts that we've just had line up and they're all the correct way around so this is going to go in here so i'm going to attach the bottoms first with some jm screws so that's the jm screws in that side there and that side there i've then got this post to put in which is going to go these two tabs first into the sides one get these in first i think i will just have to loosen one of those sides so i can get this uh bar in and then once that bar's in i just need an fp screw which is just going to go through the front of the bar and the little plastic connector we've got behind and make that nice and tight there that was quite tricky to get in but as you can see it looks just like that and that is all there is to do in that stage so that is pretty much the frame done look at that all metal looking good so we've got two more stages left to do in this pack loads to do there was so far the recording time for this is two and a half hours i don't know how this is gonna edit down to but we're gonna start doing the gearbox now and the first thing we're gonna do is take these two metal sections and just join them together like that it's gonna be held in with some lm screws and we do need two of these I've got this shaft to put in which is just going to go onto that point just there that's held in with a cm screw perfect that's it the last thing to put in place just onto this edge here we do have a bracket to put on which is going to go into the top here there is some locating lugs for this like that and again they're held in with cm screws and that's all there is to do in that stage bearing in mind we do still have this part here so the last stage in this pack is stage 26 get all of these parts out and what we're going to do is we're going to be building the rear brake drums and connecting the gearbox so first thing we need is this section looking just like that and I have got these drive shafts which are going to be going in either way. So one's going in like that. And the other one's going in this side just like that. Now, I don't know if they go in a certain way. I'm going to have mine in looking like that there. Because I do need to close this down with the top of this. Which isn't going to be easy. Probably best to put one side in first. And then put the other side in. Wow. That was interesting. Okay. 
These are going to be held in with GP screws. There you go, that's in. These are able to rotate round to the position that I'm going to need to put them in eventually, so that's okay. Now I'm going to be placing the central straw for this into the uh, housing that we had from the last stage. So this is going to go in just like that. And I'm going to close this all off with the other side of this to make one complete housing. Perfect. Now I need to put a JM screw into these two holes here to hold that together. Now on the front of this section now, these are together, I've got this uh, ignition, what do they call this? This is 26G, this is the uh, external ignition adapter. And that's just gonna go into the points that we can see just here. It has got a locating lug at the bottom, so we can push it in that hole. And all we need to do then is just put a screw in the front to hold that in, that's a CM screw. And there you go, that's that in place. I'm then gonna mount this to the underside of the frame here. So this is gonna be going into this position just like that there. So I want JM screws just to hold the top section in. You do wanna make sure that this axle here or this shaft is actually above that line. I wanna turn this over and I want to put a HM screw just into that point there. Excellent, that's nice and uh, tight in there. So now that is mounted like that. What we've got left to do then is we've got these brackets here to put on. And they're just going to go together with these two shafts. Put one in just like that and hold that in with a HP screw. So... They should look like that. Do the same on the other one. And these are going to be going onto these black brackets that we made earlier on. They're just going to go over just like that. And they're held in with an IP screw. I'm going to do that on both sides. So as you can see, that's what they look like when they're on. And that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. So as you can see, we've created the frame. And we've done so many pipes and stuff on the engine. I mean, look, check that out. What a pack. And the recording time of that, as I'm talking to you now, is two hours, 40 minutes. So that's how long all of that's taken. Again, I don't know how much this is going to be when it's edited down. Now, if, once again, if you want to get this for yourself, I've put a link in the video description to the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from the first four packs that you saw me do last time. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.